Northern Illinois has a great offense. Like Coach said, their running game, they, they put up numbers. So they have backs and the wide receivers run good routes. You know, they come back to the ball and they have great hands. So they're uh, a well-rounded team. So, you know, we need to go out there and work hard this week, practice our fundamentals, and get ready. It was a tough loss for us, but you know, uh, that's over. Like Coach said, we've got to put that in the past and get ready for Northern Illinois uh, this whole week. We're not, not we're not worried about that anymore. That was in the past. It was a tough loss for us. It hurt at the moment, and now we, we're focusing on Northern Illinois. What do you do to make that happen? You know, saying it and doing it, maybe are two different things. How, what do you do as a team or as an individual to, to make sure it doesn't creep back in your mind on, on Thursday or something? Oh, you, you know, you just got to be. You got you to be mentally prepared. You know, you got to go watch film. And then when you're at practice, you got to focus on where you're at practice. We're practicing for Northern Illinois. We're not practicing for what happened last week. So that's where our mind should be for Northern Illinois. Was after that game on Saturday one of the hardest times you've had as a comfortable player? Somewhere? Yeah, it hurt real bad. The play hurt, you know. But uh, like I said, it's over. It's in the past. Can't think about it anymore. It hurt at that moment. Like Coach said, you got to take it game by game. We're worried about the Mac West now. We're undefeated in, so go out here and worry about this next game. What were you able to do then, considering you already have 15 at that moment? Um, my coach told me, you know, I have, I have more chances. You know, I, I, I missed a couple of plays, but my technique wasn't good. So my coach said, just get back to the technique and work with practice. All right, so I just get back to my technique and what coach is talking to do. Surprise you that they kept going after you, kept going after you in those three plays at the end. Was I surprised? Yeah, just you know, three, unusual little three straight times. You no, know? I thought I thought they were going to keep going, going. And that's why I prepared my mind for. It. I prepared for when they get down the red zone. That's their go-to man. So I thought oh, I was going to cut them every time. Is that almost easier in a sense that when you're guarding the guy you know they want to go to, as opposed to guarding somebody else, and all of a sudden you, know, you obviously prepare like the ball's going to come your guy out every time, but is it almost, the mindset easier knowing the likelihood is, is great that it's going to come your way? Well, at first, you think, you know, the ball's coming to you, all these big receivers, he's been doing pretty good during the game, so you gotta, you got to calm yourself down and focus and get back to the technique and make sure that, you know, you don't get too hyper and, and not do your technique and <clears throat> things you're supposed to do, because that's how you beat. Can you talk a little bit about Northern Illinois and the memory of there? I mean, uh, I know your role was different two years ago, but, but still, that was a game that you, know, you guys had a really nice run up to that game when there and kind of got smacked in the mouth a little bit. You just talk about the feelings going back there. Uh, it feels, it feels good. It feels like a good challenge for that guy. I know I remember going there yeah, two years ago and they did they smacked us in the mouth pretty well. You know, it was a the game hurt. That game hurt. So it, it's a good challenge to go back there and uh, try to compete with them. They have a great team, so it's a good challenge. How do you feel about the defense as a whole heading into the important part of your schedule here? I feel good about the defense. I feel like they fought this last game. They fought real well. And uh, you know, this is some hiccups that we have to fix. You know I mean, with the technique and, and the calls and uh, getting our job done out there. You know I mean, the coach, we had to listen to him. People weren't doing their jobs with a couple of plays. Me, I wasn't doing my job with a couple of plays. So we can make sure we handle our technique and everybody does their job. We should be all right. Northern Illinois struggled with the record a little bit in some games this year. Um, this is what happened two years ago when you get down there. And not that you're in a position to really overlook somebody in the West Division, but does it help that there's, I don't know, does it change the way you approach the game when, you, when you're there, when you step on that field and the Cal, those memories, does that kind of get you revved up or anything like that? You no, know, you don't too much to think about uh, last time you were there. That was a long time ago, you know, so you just try to think about going out there, winning the game, and doing everything that coaches prepared you for that, the whole week and, and the assignments. What did it feel like walking off the field that came? It, it felt surreal walking off the field. It felt like it didn't happen until we went to watch the film the next day. And then uh, we had our meetings with Coach on Monday. And Coach said, you know, we have to put that in the past. And that's behind us. So I felt like after we had to practice on Monday, everybody was ready for more than the boys, ready for the Mac West. I'm sorry. I meant walking off the field at Northern two years ago. I'll walk off the field. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'll walk off the field at Northern two years ago. That was so long ago. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know I was probably mad, uh, I, um, so it, 
probably hurt the ball on the field. I remember it was a cold, cold day, and uh, so I know it hurt the moves like that. So. Any other questions for London? All right, thank you, London. Thank you, everybody.